Welcome back to part five. So um, the communicator section. So here you have your uh, monitoring station phone number. So uh, this is the primary number and if they have a secondary number you can put it here. The uh, maximum uh, dialing attempts. So here based on what you see uh, the panel is going to try a maximum of eight times and then it, it's going to give up. Uh, otherwise, it's, it will take over the line and we don't want that. Auto test report. So it is advisable to have uh, auto test uh, enabled for uh, every once in a while. So you know if, uh, if you don't get the, um, the test signal, you know the, uh, the, the, there's something wrong with the line. The panel is not able to communicate. Otherwise, you might have a panel that... Um, that has a problem maybe the um, um, the uh, the customer uh, canceled their phone line which is which happens very often these days they cancel the phone line and if you don't have uh, testing enabled then you will never know about it until uh, something happens and then they call in and you um, you look and you see you, you haven't got any signals so this is your auto testing this is what time you want the auto testing to be so here usually if there's no long distance and you can set this to every day or every 30 days or whatever you like and then here you set the time so for example 3 a.m. for example um, <clears throat> the uh, the next setting would be your account number so you can put your account number for partition one and the account number for partition two. Some people <coughs> like to have uh, two separate um, accounts for their partitions, like uh, in the case of um, of a commercial setup where uh, they have one tenant using partition one and the other tenant using partition two, so they like to keep them separate. It's uh, totally up to you, of course. Uh, having separate accounts usually means that you have to pay the monitoring station for a second account. Uh, as we said before, this is your panel ID and password uh, section. Uh, as you're familiar with the keypad, it's section 910 and 911. Again, those sections are based on my my panel, which is an SP6000. If, uh, if you have a different panel, those sections would be different. Uh, next, if you have uh, an IP module, uh, you should enter it in this section. If you don't have an IP module, I would suggest that you disable this. Even though it doesn't make any difference, I still prefer that you you uh, disable the IP module if it's not there, uh, the, the monitoring. Um, here, your account, here is your account for the uh, IP module for partition 1 and partition 2. Uh, here you can have the IP, um, uh, like you have the uh, telephone line to be used as a backup to the IP. So um, it only reports uh, using the telephone if the IP is down uh, or uh, in addition. So it reports on both accounts. So this is what you would do here. Um, here is actually, this is the IP reporting itself. Here, if you're using the IP module, you should enable it. If you're not, you should disable it. So when you enable it, here you put the IP address of the monitoring station, the port number. Th these All these settings are based on your um, your uh, your account your your monitoring station so you enter you get this information from your monitoring station the, for profile they have different profiles um, their definition they will have to send it to you so first you you enter this account <clears throat> you enter the account for partition one you enter this information and then you click register and then it the panel will try to register and then it will tell you if the uh, it says registration pending and then as you see here at the bottom so now it's uh, the registration failed if it was successful it's going to, sh going to show uh, successful or, or registered 
So mm -hmm. next you have the reporting codes. So uh, if you want the uh, the section to to report, so um, you should set it to FF. If it's set to zero zero like this, um, uh, it will not report. Even if you have the setting enabled, if you don't have the reporting codes set to FF, uh, it will not send to the monitoring station. So you can uh, change those settings individually. So there's nothing really to explain here uh, other than you either put FF or 00.